Welcome back to Doom 2016. Last time we stopped a meltdown, this time we're gonna make Samuel Hayden have a meltdown. Olivia is using the tower to drill a doorway into their world. You can prevent her from opening the gate by disabling the tower and Shut up! Both of you, frankly. No, it's fine. I like Samuel Hayden's voice. It's like, it's very nice. It feels good on my ears. By the way, I've recently read through the um, uh, the codex entries. Uh, Samuel Hayden is uh, did in fact upload his consciousness into a robot because he was diagnosed with brain cancer. Uh, yep. Yeah. Also, I finally remembered what he reminds me of. He sounds like James Spader voicing Ultron. Ah, I always just thought he sounded like Jigsaw. That's what he sounds like to me. I've never seen the. If memory serves the voice actor also voices like Reinhardt in Overwatch. I I don't know how I didn't make that connection. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds just like him now that I think about it. Yeah, I, I didn't realize it until a friend pointed it out to me. So here's something new over here. Not over there. I just hear an enemy. I was distracted. That I, is a rune. I hate these. I like them. They're fun. Some are fun. You touch them, it gives you a little challenge here. This one, you gotta just kill 15 imps before the time expires. Every time you kill an imp, you get a little bit more time. And if you complete it, you get an equipable power-up. To start off with, you can only equip one at a time, but the more you unlock, the more slots you open up to three. And you get a new slot each time you unlock it, or is it something that progresses separately? It progresses separately. I think, like, by the time you have, like, four or five different runes, you get your second slot. And when you get closer to getting all of them in the game, you get your third slot. Also, each rune has a special upgrade that you can get if you do certain things enough while it's equipped. Yes, I mentioned the mastery abilities, or the mastery upgrades for the weapon mods. The runes pretty much have the same thing, where each one comes with a challenge. If you complete that, it gives the rune an extra ability. Some runes take forever to upgrade. I tried to move the cursor on beat. I can't <laughs> do that. To be fair, it's that's a pretty good song. Yes. Some runes are very good, some runes break the game, some runes are not worth using. Yes, the one we got here is pretty basic. Vacuum, it just increases the range that you can pick up items from. Yeah, it's a solid starter rune, though. And you can upgrade it by absorbing three dropped items while it's equipped. Or 300. <laughs> if it was only three, you get it pretty <laughs> quickly. The best part is, you're probably not going to before you just swap it out three barrels full of hundreds. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and upgrade some stuff. I got a little bit of a speed up going on here. I'm increasing the abilities of the ones I'm using the most. The explosive shot, the stun bomb. Uh, I think that was about it. I'm also going to go ahead and use some Praetor tokens. These I have the hardest time using because I feel like a lot of the Praetor suit upgrades are not super immediately noticeably useful. That's too many adjectives, but you get my point. I rush the fuck out of area scanning right away. I would if I wasn't using like an upgrade. If you know, or an upgrade, a, a, a guide for finding all of the stuff. A guide is an upgrade for your brain. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Rooster Teeth. Way early in the level, we find our uh, our secret classic level switch. Fucking love that kachunk, though. It's so satisfying. I know. Doomguy struggles so much to pull that switch. It must be rusty as hell. I mean, the sound design in general in this game is really good and really satisfying. Wow, what a tiny room. Oh. It's level 1-3, I believe? The Toxin Refinery. This is the level where our first secret exit was. I wonder if... I mean, you most certainly can find the secret exit because the level's exactly the same, but I don't think anything actually happens if you get, if you get it. Just like, good job, nerd. <laughs> you know where the classic secret exit is. Good memory, old man. <laughs> you fucking nerd, congrats. 
You're old enough to buy this game without your parents around. Whoopity boopity. Nowadays, you can also do that online and lie. <laughs> Them for mature. I'm 16 and 364, 365ths. I believe you. All right, so as I mentioned in the last part, one of the challenges of this level is to do death from above glory kills on two Hell Knights. So this is a good place to do that. <laughs> okay, so stand there, wait for it. <laughs> It fucking sucks getting this one. Like, uh, death row above's on tall enemies are an absolute nightmare. They can be. But luckily there's enough Hell Knights and high areas in this level, it's not so bad. Oh look, a weapon mod. There's definitely worse ones in that vein. No, don't punch me, no. <laughs> Run away. Come down after me, asshole. No, I gotta find a secret first. The secret is her mom. The wow. secret is your mom? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, somebody in the in one of the threads pointed out when you take out the Praetor token, there is a little spurt of blood. Really? I never noticed that. You can see it most clearly with that one. Also, please, uh, Doomguy does not have a mother. Doomguy emerged from a slab of granite fully formed. I believe that's true, pretty much. Is there like a Greek god or titan that was that? Greek or Roman? Wait. I saw little sparks. I didn't see any blood. Maybe I need to look closer. I need my microscope. <laughs> see their blood? Well, it's spurting out before you take the token and then it stops. Hmm. So I wonder. Gotta zoom in and enhance. Sound off in the thread. As in just posting the thread so that there's more interaction. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool talkage in there. And that's also where I post all of the codex entries, because I'm not reading them here. <laughs> oh my god, yes, fuck reading them. It means it's a hybrid let's play. Yeah. Lock on burst, lock on burst, lock on burst. No! <laughs> I probably should have gotten the lock on burst first, but it becomes more useful a little later in the level. I'm pretty sure that there's one more weapon mod bot that I can find here. I looked away and I read that as micro banana. <laughs> micro banana. I don't <laughs> think that banana and missile share a single letter. <laughs> no, it's like one of those, it's, it's one of those little banana candies you see. Throw them at demons, it confuses them. <laughs> Demon love banana. They are rapid fire. And they're tiny, and you know, they're not actually as powerful as they look, but they can, they're can they pretty good at chipping down uh, stronger enemies. It's, it's strength really relies on its upgrades. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> He's going for the chaos dunk. Did it. See, that one's so bad. Yeah, what you were mentioning earlier, the upgrades for the micro missiles are ridiculous. Once you get the mastery for it, you can fire them indefinitely as long as you have assault rifle ammo. And <laughs> another thing that you can do is there's a rune that you can get, which upon unlocking the mastery for that gives you infinite ammo as long as you're above a certain threshold of health. So you can just infinitely fire micro missiles for a while at, a, at one point once you're powered up enough. Yeah, but they're also much cheesier weapons to use that ability on. True. Much, much cheesier. Hello, boys. <laughs> I love these guys. They're so the walking embodiment of I regret my life decisions. <laughs> nice shot. Yeah, they, uh... Weren't terribly useful that time. I know. I'll blow up all the zombies with we'll this thing. I'm a genius. Oh no. You need to remove each lens individually. Carefully release the hinges. <laughs> I, that's one of my favorite Tomb Guy moments. <laughs> this is a very delicate process. <laughs> Necessary. 
Probably the most blatant example of Doom Guy ignoring the plot. Yeah. Sam, you're a smart guy. Did you read any of the notes on Doom Guy? No. <laughs> what what are you doing you can't break the argent energies for the betterment of mankind what are you doing <laughs> doom go smash smash <laughs> sam hayden brain go brr <laughs> literally there's probably gears were turning in there please sam loads off an ssd <laughs> Implying I know shit about hardware. I could never live without an SSD at this point. Jacob recently built a really good computer, but he had to rely on us to tell him, yes, those numbers mean good things. <laughs> <laughs> Number go up. Yes, good. You're giving me too much credit. I did not build this. I bought it <laughs> pre-made. <laughs> I know it's more expensive, apparently, but... Fucking, I don't care. I, I would break something if I tried to build a computer. I've just, I've been ruined by SSDs. I can never use an HDD ever fucking again. For reference, I'm talking about hard drives. I, I know, I know what things are. I just don't know what they do. <laughs> I was clarifying in general. SSD, some sad dad. <laughs> don't ask him for help. <laughs> Dad is depressed, please. <laughs> Go play outside. <laughs> You're always inside playing Doom and he's just disappointed. That's why is Dad crying in his office? Don't worry about it, just go outside and play. And by Dad, we of course mean the Nathan Barnett character. You must stop. The hell energy is unusable mm. without the filters. Let me think about it. Uh... Smash. I am stopping. <laughs> After I finished. Ah, what? What just happened? Doom Guy's physical presence is optional. <laughs> All right, here's another rune. This one's easy. You just destroy barrels. The rune trials don't get, like, really brutal until the later ones, especially the last one. And just for fun, I tried to do it on beat with the ticking. Uh, Even if I don't mean to. Sure. <laughs> Riveting. Like, some of the later rune trials are fucking painful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the the bullet spread. Unfortunate. Where's the last one? Where's the last one? There it is. <laughs> Where's the last one? Backs up into it. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I can't find it. All right. That one was dazed and confused which increases the amount of time that demons are staggered once you get them ready for a glory kill. Also, it's a super minor thing, but like, I hate that just because they're upgradable, all of them are listed as one. What do you mean? Uh, every single one of the runes you get is listed as like vacuum one, dazed and confused one. Oh. Because they could upgrade to a two, but I just hate the way it looks and feels. Yeah, that's fair, I guess. I think we're sticking with vacuum right now because I haven't really had the problem of demons getting out of the stagger state. Yeah, it's only really like the higher end demons that don't last terribly long. Yeah. Even then, I rarely have that issue anyway. Yeah. I forget if it's in this game, but in Doom Eternal, there's a rune that increases the speed of glory kills. No, this one has it too. Yeah, I don't find that super useful because the glory kills look cool and I'd like to savor them. And also you're invincible during the time anyway, so why? what advantage is there to have them and go faster? In the long run, I want to be invincible for less time. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think the idea is that so you can chain them and also because when you have multiple enemies ready for a glory kill, 
Uh, their timer does go down while you're doing a glory kill. Uh, oh, yeah. I also figure maybe like for speed runs. True. Maybe. Want to save every single frame you can. Assuming that like in speed runs, they would go for the runes anyway. Gotta go fast. I'm sure for 100% speed runs, yeah. Yeah. I've never watched a speed run of this game. I bet it's great. You know, I always say that for like every game, but I just don't watch speed runs at all. <laughs> I'm not sure about this one. I know for Eternals, any percent, they mostly just glitch the game and jump over all the geometry, so. Ow. Uh, the usual. See, that's kind of why. I'm not interested in stuff like that, even though it, it's just kind of part of speedrun culture anyway. Personally, I like glitches, but I only like like really excessive or weird glitches, which is why I don't really watch speedruns, but I'll occasionally watch like passes. Those are always wild. Weird passes, yeah. Things that are potentially possible, it's just you can't. <laughs> you can't. I'm still ever a fan of the uh, Family Feud tasks. Family Feud? Yes, uh, wherein they abuse the ever-loving fuck out of the text parser. So real quick, we just... The power-up we got was haste. It increases your movement speed and attack speed. There are better power-ups, but any power-up is all right. Yeah, as long as you get it when there's still enemies around. Shut up. Oh, one with the left foot this time. Ugh. Doom guy's ambidextrous. Oh, here's a brand new enemy. She's the summoner. Really should have gotten that lock on. I know, this. the summoner is definitely made for lock on. She's very fast. She's pretty much the replacement for the arch vial. In fact, when I first played this game, I thought she was an arch vial. Oops. Uh, too cold. Oh, wow. Yeah, way too cold. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, she zips around. She teleports. She throws uh, fireballs, essentially, along the ground. And uh, she can summon enemies. Thus the name Summoner. Great, because they touted her as like, oh, the first female demon. And it's like, oh, OK, sure. <laughs> OK. Also, are we forgetting the Spider Mastermind? Spider Mastermind doesn't count. This one technically has boobs. Ooh, titty. But I like the summoner. She's not very threatening, though, I will say. I feel like I've heard that scream before. Was that stock? Maybe. I feel like I've heard it before, too. Maybe even just from this game. The summoner is a less annoying arch file, so I can get behind it. Mm -hmm. And I brought back the arch file anyway. Yeah, <laughs> but not we got a few we got a few more hours before we get to that, though. And by hours, I mean the rest of the game. Yeah, it's great because like everyone I knew was like super pissed when they first saw the arch vial in the one of the uh, trailers for Doom Eternal. On my channel, I started a, a blind playthrough of this when the game when the game first came out. I never finished it because my old channel was just a mess, <laughs> but I, in the video where I saw the summoner, because I thought it was an arch vial, I like, I accidentally clickbaited that video. I was like, I titled it arch vial and put an arch vial in the thumbnail. And I was like, oh, this is no big deal. It's just a joke. But then it became the most viewed video in that series. So I was like, okay, I feel dirty now. Did it also get the <laughs> most dislikes? Uh, I don't, comparatively, I don't think so. I, may, I see what you're talking about now. Maybe that is blood. Yeah, it's, it's not bright enough to be sparks. At least I don't think. That's eh, just red water. It's it's fine. Need some food coloring in your system. See, water got trapped inside the suit, and it it just rusted it, so it's rust water. Don't worry about it. You know, I I, was, I just started thinking about the purpose of this room. I wonder if that grass is just meant to produce oxygen that people can breathe. I don't know if it would produce enough oxygen, but maybe that's <laughs> why this is all here. No, it's just here to grow weed. <laughs> ah, yes, the gigantic weed room on Mars. The anti-oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> I gave myself robo lungs so I could still smoke. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, just fucking your boy Samuel Hayden smoking a big fat doobie. <laughs> It's very carcinogenic, but not when you don't have lungs. 
The unfortunate part is I forgot to give myself a mouth. And a brain to be affected by it. <laughs> <laughs> I've really just wasted my own time. It just fills his fucking circuits with useless smoke. <laughs> All I can think of is the one stupid comic. I don't give a hot gay fuck what Congress thinks. Legalize weed, dude. <laughs> Legalize weed, dude. And it's Goku saying it's it. It's fucking Goku. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> so I can picture is fucking Samuel Hayden doing that. Talking about his weed farm on Mars. <laughs> just ranting to Doom Guy about how much he wants weed, and Doom Guy's just trying to kill demons. <laughs> Come on, do it. I got one. I hate those things. I'm sorry, you love them, Thorn. I'm sorry to break your feelings. <laughs> I love looking at them. I'm sure they're annoying to fight. No, it's, it's not even that. They're virtually harmless. They're annoying to use to kill others. Yes. They're hard to aim. They're incredibly unreliable, but that's also part of why they're funny. So we're approaching... Actually, not sure if I'm going to reach it right now, but... Well, here's a regular secret. Here's another little Doom Guy figure. But soon here, we're going to reach an incredibly useful secret. Not over here. Ah, uh, yes, over here. Up across here, there's going to be an imp or two. Piss off. And over here! Splat. This is a secret... This is a secret you do not want to miss. Yes. God, how did he only kill one of these things? <laughs> hey, I'm already burnt. Behold. My baby. You get the super shotgun early if you come here. Don't know why I said it with that inflection, but behold. Have you seen anything more perfect in your life? No, you haven't. It's engraved. Eat shit, Ocelot. <laughs> a really nice looking shotgun, yeah. Also covered in blood. Part of the engraving. Hmm. He has a texture. The super shotgun in this game is incredibly useful. It's not like a be all end all replacement, like you can kind of make it in the classic games. The regular shotgun is still useful, particularly because of the little grenade launcher it has. But, ooh, this thing feels good. It feels very good. Also, you say that, but when I get this in the game, I just never need to use the shotgun ever again. I just think the regular shotgun's good to use, too. So I, I keep using it because it's fun. What's that shot who? I, I just, I love the super shotgun so fucking much. Especially if you pump heavy into ammo upgrades early on. Oh yes, I absolutely do that. Next part, we are going to upgrade this thing fully already. Mm hmm. Oh, it's it's so good. Give me that. But also, Berserk is so good in this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Summoner, new powerful enemy. Goodbye. It's so fun, just tooling around, tearing everything to bits with your two fists. You say goodbye, I say hello. <laughs> hello, hello! <laughs> there's the end of the level, but there's still more to do. <laughs> just thinking of some... Hello, I say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, this is actually a very open level. Yeah. Compared to some of the later other ones. Yeah, I've, I've mentioned before that you can't. There's a lot of points of no return in some of these levels. This is not one of them. You can pretty much go anywhere whenever you want once you reach the end, which is good because I still have a few secrets I've yet to get. This one's dumb. Yeah, this one I've, I've found pretty difficult to find. That's a cool looking suit though. White chocolate doom guy. Or. Come on, I was show gonna up. say white guy, but that works too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually thought it was called white guy, but it's it's UAC guy. <laughs> they avoid that for some weird reason. <laughs> if stopping our energy production is what you want, then you need only to destroy this last filter, and Argent Energy will no longer exist in this solar system. Oh, thanks for the reassurance. Back at square one.
It wiggles a little bit. It's so good. Why'd he cover his face? He's wearing a helmet. You have no idea what you have just done. You know what, Sam? You're right. <laughs> You're correct, 100%. Ah, uh, shower. <laughs> it's nice and warm. It then there's nothing else to be done. Let me in. Thank you. That's that. We fucked up some filters. We ruined all of Samuel Hayden's hard work. And isn't that really the main goal of this game? I was going to say, you could just stop it. We fucked up. Did we, though? I think we did quite well. That's assuming we're on his side. <laughs> just because he's helping us doesn't mean we want anything to do with him. Doom guy is his own side. <laughs> the enemy of my enemy is not necessarily my friend. Doom guy is the personification of chaotic good. It's like running a marathon. You're all going the same direction, but none of you guys are w on each other's team. Or something. No, I think in that case, you're literally in competition with each other, so no. I was going to say, it's like a marathon, but what are you toting a fucking baseball bat? <laughs> and, and everyone else is already dead exactly you don't need knees where we're going commentators just really sad and disturbed well welcome to the 86th annual montana triathlon everyone's dead <laughs> i was say the audience is watching on an abject terror <laughs> That's kind of disturbing. <laughs> like, just the thought of these, like, distraught people just standing there watching one guy run across a blood-soaked marathon. <laughs> At least he's enjoying himself. That's what one person says to everybody else. <laughs> and, it does, and it does not help. Just a crowd of people slowly turning to them. Wondering, what the hell? So in marathons, one does need to run fast. And we do also need to run fast towards Olivia because she has some nasty plans about. And we gotta at least do our best to stop them in the next part of Doom 2016. And if we do it fast enough, then our dad's friends at work will donate to cancer research. Yeah. Hey, I am Doom Dad, so... <laughs>